Have you ever been in charge of 12 young boys? No, sir. Have you ever rubbed two sticks together to make a fire? No, sir. Have you ever put your life in another boy's hands? Have you ever asked another boy to put his life in yours? No, sir. We follow orders, son. We follow orders or people's crafts turn out shoddy. It's that simple. Are we clear? Yes, sir. Are we clear? Yes, sir. Are we clear? Crystal. I think we've uh, I think we've established the uh, clarity. All those having business with this general court martial stand forward and you shall be heard. The facts of the matter are these. On midnight of September 6th, the accused entered the bunk site of their troop mate. While he was sleeping, they placed his right hand into a glass of warm water. He then woke up, wherein they proceeded to perpetrate in the giving of a wedgie, and then suspended him from a flagpole, whereupon they commenced to taunting him and calling him Skidmark Santiago. He then fainted, fell off the pole, and skinned his knee. Listen up, Glory Boy. As den mother of this troop, let me tell you, if you insist upon handling this case in the same fast food, slick ass, Persian Bazaar manner in which you seem to handle everything, then you're going to wind up with one childproof, egg eating, shrink to fit, three legged. Style Santiago got wedged, and that is tragedy. But he got wedged because he had no code. No cold? No, a code. He had no code. I ain't had no, I don't know. What, what is he? Can you? He had no cold in a menorah? A, uh... Wait, what are, you, what are you telling me? Scott Santiago was Jewish? Because I, uh, that's, uh, I don't think so. Cholesterol free, Rowan and Martin, open and shut, Johnny come lately, golden brown, hot and sour. You want to investigate me? Roll the dice and take your chances. I eat breakfast every day with 12 angry fathers who think I'm secretly touching their sons. So don't think you're going to come down here, flash a merit badge and make me nervous. Fat inducing. Liposucted Bruce Willis sneer, Habsburg chimp, thirst quenching. Son, we live in a world that has pup tents, and those tents are held together with various knots a scout must learn. The square knot, the granny knot, the shank, the hitch, the half hitch. Who's gonna tie those knots? You? Your scouts follow orders or people get wedged. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth! You can't handle the truth. You want the truth? I want the truth! What do you want? The truth! When do you want it? Now! Give me a T! T! Give me an R! R! Give me a U! U! Give me a T! T! Give me an H! H! What's that spell? The truth! All right, you got it. <laughs> That's great. Thank you. No further questions. In the heart of troop number A3-54, in a den mother's barracks, they're clearing a space on the mantle for a special guest named Oscar. I think I, uh, I think I got a pretty good shot here. I mean, this is uh, it's pretty intense stuff. So uh, yeah, it's, uh, Welcome to the show. I'm Ben Stiller, and uh, we're here on the set of that Few Good Men parody we just did. We thought we'd give you a little, you know, behind the scenes look at how we do the show. See, it's really a wig I'm wearing. And here's the cast. They're kind of angry because they didn't get to do Jack Nicholson. I should have done it. Okay, guys. Hold the sandwich between your legs. I'm the guy from Terms of Endearment. Here's Johnny. I'll take a tuna fish sandwich on rye bread. Hold those tuna. That's why we uh, we brought someone else in to do it. I think you can understand why. Why don't we just go to this? Uh, right now, we're responding to a disturbing the peace call from over in the next Shire. Yeah, we usually get a couple of these calls a night, mostly local kids all hopped up on me. 
playing chicken on a jousting field trying to impress some mate. That ain't no jousting match. Come on, Johnny. Over here, Johnny. Come quick. Man in his hand, his wife is going off. The drug. Don't worry, Felicia. I shall return thee to thy normal state. Stop the one, Don't Take it. The... Do it. What? I will put the man spell on all of you. Oh. Put the hand behind your head. Let my wife shut up. What the a bitch. Shut the up. Okay, 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 okay. In a situation like this, uh, we'll apprehend the suspect and then we'll uh, impound the wand, run a check on it. Usually it turns out it's hot. I had an argument with my wife and I accidentally turned her into an ox. Hey, listen, partner, I don't care what you use. You can't be making all this noise. That's all right. right. Oh, Felicia! Hey! My wife! Hey! That is my wife! Hey, what did we just finish telling you, huh? I... Shh, shh, I... shh, shh. Baby where... goes to sleep. Now. Where's my elixir? All right, we just got a message about a uh, domestic disturbance about two miles from here, so we're going to go check I'll it out. I'll go with no, you. you. stay put, Wonder Boy. Yeah. Whose apples uh, are these? Are these magic apples? Oh, ah, will you look at this? Leave me alone! Leave me alone! I'm trying to pull it hard for this stuff! Hey, 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 hey! Oh, great, the cops are here. Up. Good work! Yeah. Hey, go, 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 I'm trying you got about a hundred people here waiting to pull the sword from the stone, all right? You had your shot at this thing, all right? Right! And this is your kid here. Now, tell me something. Wait a minute. That's your daddy, right? Yeah. Right? Okay. Now, your daddy's been drinking a little bit of meat? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. I, ha I have not been drinking. Don't officer. tell me you haven't been drinking. I smell all over your breath. <laughs> it's my clothing. I spilled all right, some all right, meat. All right, all right, all right, all right. What's going on here? You pulling very... the sword? Yes, I'm trying to pull the sword from the stone. Oh, yeah? Well, and, um... Who's the lady here? This uh, wench is uh, my wife, I'm very sorry to say. Is that any way to be acting in front of your wife and kid? You're drunk. Yeah. Huh? She fills it full of lies. Hey, hey, officer, hey, she fills it full of lies. What am I supposed to do? Get up. Get up. I can't. Get up. I'm the Get kid. up. Hey. Go ahead. Go ahead. Give it a shot. Go ahead. Give it a shot. <laughs> I got news for you, Mr. Universe. It's not coming out, all right? Okay, okay. I just wanted one chance. All right. Now. You know, I mean... What? I want to pull the sword from the stone. You can't even pull no, up no. your own pants. Let him try. Let him try. Come sure, on. You see what she does? All right. all right, all right, all right. You want to pull this? Go ahead. Go ahead. Come She's on, on guys, his back already. Right you pick up the pieces. Right up there. there you go. All right. Give it a try. Behold, that's Calibur. I loosened it for him. I, I was there. You hey, got it. I, I knew there was something special about this boy. All right, that's it, everybody. Show's over. Okay, you got your king. Swords to pull from the stall. Let's go home now, right? Everybody's got homes to go to. That's it, all right? Yeah, that's great. I bust my hump 11 years. Some kid pulls a stick out of a rock, becomes my boss. <laughs> hey, that's some coffee you got. I, uh, I got a touch of the plague that's going around. Yeah, you know what's good for that? Leeches. Hurts like a mother, but it works, really. Yeah? Yeah. And now, Ben Stiller's Music News with Tabitha Soren. Hello, I'm Tabitha Soren, and this is a Stiller Music News special report. Controversy surrounds a trio of backup singers who call themselves Vanilla Heat. In an unprecedented move, they are suing the entire music industry for discrimination. We caught up to Heat at their L.A. home studio, and they had this to say. I mean, we've been in L.A. for eight Eight years. For, we've been in L.A. for eight years, and we have yet to get job one. Question, what's wrong with this picture? Answer, when it comes to backup singers, if you don't look a certain way, an invisible wall goes up. Come on, four for nothing. Four, three, two. He, he said he's going. Bye, bye. Going back to fine. Nail that spin, yeah, Kim. Nail that spin. The music industry is a hall of mirrors, and for some reason, we have not been invited in. Well, I, the reason, it's plain and simple. The reason is, if you don't, you know, if you're not a hot chick in spandex who's willing yeah. to shake your yeah. rump, you know, and flaunt it, then forget it. You need not apply. Says he's ready to take that ride. Yes, he's, he's gonna, gonna be right by his side. I know you will. 
We have currently over 700 legal suits pending in Los Angeles Municipal Court. Well, frankly, I don't know why they're suing me. I don't hire singers. I mean, that's not what I do. Kim is our legal counselor, right. if you will. Well, well, he's not, I mean, I mean, he's not exactly, you're not a lawyer, right? Let's put the cards on the table here. You're not a lawyer, but you're acting in our behalf. I am not a lawyer per se. However, I am very comfortable in a court of law, and I am fluent in two languages, English and legalese. I don't know what it is. These guys, they wanted to try out, they want to be my background singers or something, you know, so I said, cool, you know, I was looking for good talent, and, you know, they just, they just suck. Superstar, but he didn't get far. We, as a group, have too much talent to let something like this happen. I'm not going to lay down for the steamroller, okay? It's not going to happen with me. Uh, excuse me, we're here for the backup singer auditions. I don't think you have an appointment. It's happening again. All we need is five minutes of your time, please. You know, I think if we were dressed in hot spandex outfits and had earrings on and were looking really great, then that we'd have no problem here, right? You'd be rolling out the red carpet for us. Maybe we should have worn our dresses. Mm. Four for nothing. One, two, three, four. Hey, Mr. Mr. Record Man, give us a break. Give oh, us a oh, break. This is a chance that you gotta take. You gotta take it. We will, we will not break. move till we get a break. Let's go. We will not move till we get a break. We will not move. I don't care, blacklist me, you know, cross my name off the list, okay? Because you know what? It was never there in the first place. Swing low, sweet chariot. We're not religious people, but we can't deny that God gave us these voices. And uh, sometimes when we're singing, I can feel him smiling down upon us. Yeah, well, does he know a good lawyer? I'm out of here. Tonight on American Profiles, Billy Bob Hoyt, High Tech Hillbilly. Buford, Buford, listen, you tell Sheriff Hodel that if we don't expand, there's not going to be any county line, all right? Great. Uh-huh. Hold it, I'm gonna get you 20 cases by Tuesday. Yeah, that's on the house. You know who you're talking to here, right? Good. Sally Joe, uh, get me the facts on that McSorley feud. I need specifics. How many people have been killed and how many have just been run off? And uh, cancel my wrestling match with Leland and get some more house flies in here. I feel like I'm in the city. What we're doing here at Hill Tech is trying our darndest to preserve the hillbilly lifestyle by making it profitable. And guess what? It's working. Great. Pointier. Can't be pointy enough. Remember that. What do you got? Little quick. I want that in the catalog by Christmas. This is my Hafe cousin and number one idea man, Claude. Claude, what do you got for me today? Oh, well, this is a little something that Jessup and I have been working on called the Picomatic 2000. Wholly automatic solar powered foot picker. Fix feet free of corn, wood slivers, pebbles, what have you. Or leaving your hands free to shoot flies away, smoke a pipe, whatever. Ah, uh, people like to pick their own feet. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Right now we're developing a blend of non-alcoholic moonshine. All the kick and none of the sick. I uh, don't cotton to it. Right now we're negotiating with a big defense firm about feud technology, or what we call inter-family squabbles. Just remember, you can shoot at a Hatfield, but don't be shooting at any Hoyts. How do I know they're a Hatfield? They're chicken-livered, colicky-looking yellow taps. You can't miss them. Hey, I think I smell one now. Talking to Sid. I'm not alone. There's a whole new breed of us young hicks on the move. Erasmus. Hey, thank you, Elliot. Oh, good to see you. Hi. Chad. Hey. Delbert. How's that grease pig catcher coming, huh? No, no, don't worry. We have a code here. Relax. Hey. Gentlemen, fellow hillbilly millionaires, all of us in this room are related by years of intermarriage and by our respect for innovation and enterprise. 
On behalf of the Young Hillbillies Millionaires Club, I'd like to present this year's Golden Jug Award to Bill and Bob Hoyt. I'm a hillbilly, I'm a businessman, but mostly I'm just a guy who never understood the word can't. And now a word about Grady's Oats. You talking to me? I don't see anybody else around here. I guess that means you're talking to me. 38 caliber snub nose. Some people call it a Saturday night special. See, certain things never go out of style. Things like craftsmanship, dedication to hard work. The good people that great. Those damn kids. That's it! That's it! Hey! What did I tell you about playing ball back there? Get out of here or I'll kill you! I'll kill you and your family! Brady's old instant oatmeal. Oh, what did I tell you? You've been warned! Get out! I don't care if he's hurt! Get him out of there! This is my lawn! Brady's Oats Instant Oatmeal. These are my flowers! They're beautiful flowers! They're beautiful colors! Yellow and purple! And you ruined them! Oh, you ruined my flowers! My wig. wig's fine. Oh, how's my oh, how's my tooth? Oh, welcome back to the show. Uh, the tooth looks just fine to me. You know, we're really excited because we're on at 10:30 now, which means we can say all types of words we couldn't say when we were on earlier. And we actually have a list of words we can say at 10:30 or 9:30 Central that we couldn't say at 7:30, 6:30 Central. Why don't you say them to me? Crap and crappy. Andy. Bitch. Duty. Okay. That's it. All right. All right, guys. That's enough. I didn't More. No. no Pee -pee. No, no, Period. No. Ha -ha. I don't think this was a good idea. Yes. Okay. Yes. Why don't we just go to this, okay? Whore. <laughs> hey, trainee, sure is busy on your first night, huh? No, the guy at Table 14 keeps changing a side dish order. That's because they all taste so good, it's hard to pick just one. This is the best job, isn't it? Yeah, I guess. You know, my boyfriend didn't want me to work here. He thinks these fake theme restaurants are corny. It isn't a fake theme. <laughs> What's all the chit-chatting back here, huh? We got some appetizer specials to push, right? Right. You want to be part of the team, don't you? Yes. All right, then why don't you get out there and sell Table 9 another order of deep-fried booter balls, okay? I'll try. Remember our motto, the customer is always hungrier than they, they think, think they, they are. are. That's right, so get out there and sell them, huh? Okay. All right. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to TJO Pooter Toots, where you're sure to have the rootness, tootness, pootness good meal. I'm Faith, and I'll be your food gal. Tonight's drink specials include sex in a hamper with or without milk and pudding shots. Our dinner specials include the Angry Mexican... I don't need to hear the specials. I want two orders of the deep-fried curly ribs, a miserable whore without the salt around the rim for me, and a giggling scoundrel for the lady, and a side of the atomic liver crisps. Would you like some pooter balls with that? What kind of meat is in that? It's pooter meat, with a taste that's oddly familiar. No thanks. How about some Colorado bean strips? Look, I just told you what I wanted. With an order of Chicago-style Alaska mini bites, you're entitled to a free hour of karaoke in our entertainment. Look, we don't want any mini things. We just want what we ordered, okay? Mm. I'm hungry. Wow, I just sold two more orders of Red Hot Rancheroos. That's 25 more pooter points for me. I don't get it. You kill yourself to get a million pooter points, and all you get is TJ's mustache wax. I know you didn't mean that. You should be more careful. If somebody overhears you, we could both get shipped off to Pooter Toot Spirit Camp. Hey there, soldier. How's it going? Good. I'll tell you, there's nothing like that special feeling of knowing you're part of a team, huh? That great feeling you get deep down inside knowing you're one insignificant part of a much greater plan. And that plan is TJO Pooter Toots. <laughs> hey, let's have an alley rally. Oh, I can't right now. I have an order coming up. We're having an alley rally. Come on, we're having an alley rally. Who's the best, east or west? TJO Pooter Toots! Where does the guest Rest with zest. DJO Booter Toots! Who always passes the fun food test? DJO Booter Toots! Hey! DJ, fuck you! What are you doing? 
Join us, Faith. DJ commands. Faith! Faith! David! No! No! Faith! No! David! Keep back against the Book of Puja. Stay back! I'll trim you all, I swear! What is going on? I was right. It's all in here. Oh, Pooter Toot was a member of the Donner Party. The Donner Party? The pioneers who were snowed in and... Ate each other, right. Well, one of the survivors, a young man by the name of T.J. Pooter Toot, decided that human flesh made the ultimate fun food. He's right! It's fun delicious. What are you saying? It's people! Pooter balls are made out of people! Wait, come with us. You'll snack forever. No! PJ is the way! Have a pooter ball. No! Faith! Snack on this! <laughs> Wait! We should tell them! No! Don't look into their eyes! What are we going to do? We need a female to repopulate with. TJ must have a male heir. It is written. Do not worry, young Dwayne. We will find another. Hi. I'd like to apply for a job. Yes. Right this way. All right, well, that's about it for the show. I hope you had a good time. I just want to thank my cast, who all did a really great job this week, especially Janine. You know, it's yeah. not easy being the only female member of a yeah. all sure. practically you're, all male cast. You're really you're just, holding your own. Yeah, you thank are. You. You're holding your Thanks. own. Thanks. So. You guys have always been very, very respectful, and I appreciate it. All right. You are welcome, my dear. Well, that's it. And good night. Cut. Good night. Good night. Cut. All that's right. Not great. Really? I'm going to be in my dressing room. All right, Andy. Woo! Take it. Yes. Take it, baby. Good. Good. Take it off. Good. Come on. Good. Come on. Good. Stop harassing me! <laughs> Once and for all! Woo! Yeah. Beautiful when you're angry. Oh, yes. Yeah. Can't Very nice. Meat. Get out of that the kitchen. That is a fine That's piece right. of meat. Yeah. <laughs> As a side business, we write a lot of commercial jingles. It's not art, but uh, it pays the bills. Well, if we ever sold one, it might pay some bills. Clean and fresh, clean and fresh, I'm feeling clean and fresh, cause I bathe every day, I'm feeling clean and fresh, cause I use soap. Buy it!